Hello and welcome to Red Men TV. It's Jonathan here after a nice, straightforward, easy, everything we wanted, 4-0 victory over Brighton. Uh, the end of the season, the end of the Premier League domestic season that we all wanted. Uh, touch wood, it looks like no injuries. A clean sheet to match Rafa's record uh, back in, what, nine years or something like that. Eight hours of football or whatever you want to call it. Um, just all in all, a, you know, a lovely day. Just enjoyable day to watch the, watch the Magic Reds and... You know, yeah, all sorts of talk, you know, it probably from outside the camp, you know, in terms of, oh, we should have this wrapped up long before. Yes, we should, etc., etc. But we're in the situation we were in and, you know, we just completely answered any questions that were needed there. And particularly in that first half, it was such a, a dominant joy to watch performance from the Reds, you know, attacking wise, just right at it. The pace was there. The pressing was there. We got in their faces. We created book a load of chances. And despite Kevin Friend's best attempt to keep the score down, we eventually made the breakthrough with Salah, who who else at this rate? Um, you know, a, a beautiful, a nice little bit of work. You know, we'd ha we'd kept the ball back and forth. In the Salah goal was 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 kind of it summed up a lot of good aspects of of our game of our game. Really, we had a really high press. Everyone was on full court squeeze. I think ball has come back from a corner. It's Genie. He has the chance to go back to the keeper. He doesn't. He plays it. He plays it square, and then Trent just bombs forward. You know, it's just everything that you want. Just in a pen penetrating run straight through. The ball goes to Slanky, and he pops it through to Salah, who gives the keeper the the eyes, and and it's it's one nil. And I thought it was very interesting to note, and I tweeted at the time was, you could just like, the last while Salah's celebrations have been pretty much this. Look at me. Look at me. I'm tired. Great sort of approach. But this was just pure raw emotion. You could see how much that goal meant to him. Uh, both in, I think he's in his personal uh, attempt to get the goal in the boot, which he has, and it's a wonderful achievement and all that. But also he knew the importance of it to the team uh, and that breakthrough because it was very frustrating there. Like I was screaming my head off here at, at the referee, like two, three blatant penalties and you know decisions that he, the referee, is looking directly at. There's no excuse for missing. I, like you, you will give the referee the benefit of the doubt at times where you know there's players in his way or it's, it's a fast game and he hasn't been able to keep up. But like the Duffy one and the Salah one, the referee's looking straight at it and you're like, what are you looking at? And it seemed like we couldn't buy a free kick there or a decision uh, in, the, in, the, in the first half for Lars. And you could sense that you know, pure, pure anger from the, cr the crowd there. At times, but look, the the breakthrough, you know, it took the, the glass off, and then we we bashed them, and and like at one stage there, I think we had like seventy two percent possession. We had like sixteen shots on target to one, you know, totally totally smashed them. Uh, and how it was only one nil, I do not know. You know, there's an absolute multiple chances, none more so than the Manny one where he's he's gone through and Sal himself and Salah make brilliant runs or through, and he tries to square them, and it's blocked. And and then out, but yeah, Lovren's header then as well, like good old fashioned uh, roll back the years dump of a header. You know, he takes a free run, take and and just goes for it. And you know, it it was almost one of those days where players that you were delighted for um, from a personal point of view kind of got their reward or got their moment in the sun. You know, Salah again, um, confirming the golden boot, getting the breakthrough. You know, you have Lovren who has had his fair share of critics in this season alone. Um, and then in the second half, the goals from, from Solanke and Robertson. And, you know, it all kind of wound into one massive air of positivity that's been around the, the, the club for a long time now. Um, and that 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 juggernaut is keep on going. And hopefully Saturday week we'll have a lot more fun with it. But just to kind of rewind to the second half then, you know, we go in 2-0 and it could have literally been 4-5. or five, um, Kept going in the second half. Probably took the gas off a little, but, you know, had a... Started the the second half quite well, and you know you see the the Brighton defenders they're just dying to get on the beach and and get out of here. Um, they're getting absolutely roasted. The runs, the you know Manny, I thought was it was exceptional, uh, particularly in that first half. Some of the runs that he was making, and you know, um, the formation it felt like we were going four two four at times, and Bobby dropping back when when we didn't have the ball, but we really really ballsy win for it and. Solanke's um, play, you know, he got his start again. He's had his fair share of critics. Everyone keeps harking back on about, you know, he hadn't scored. Thankfully, he 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 made that breakthrough today. A uh, beautiful, beautiful finish. Really, really let rip on that. Cracked onto the bar and in. Um, but you know, there was you, you saw at the start. I think there was one where Solanke on the left channel had come in and squeezed the defender and come out and should have squared it to Bobby in the open goal. Um, he, maybe a little bit of rustiness there but then you can see like for the Salah goal and a couple of more opportunities where he was starting to 
to to to be um, kind of joining in with the movement and the, and the flicks and stuff and really really growing with confidence and you can see it's not a close shop yet for him really there's a long way to go and all that to break through but you know he he showed another aspect to his game that he's kind of fitting that mold and getting used to the system and, and the way we play and he he must be delighted with him with himself today um we kept on going you know and it could have been it could have been as many as we wanted really um. We get the fourth in with with, with Robbo, um, nice bit of work with, with with Ings down the wing, and you know at that stage, you know everyone's it, like everyone's delighted for for uh, for Solanke, but then the same, you know, even louder, everyone's almost uh, delighted for Robbo, and you know he's he's got to that stage. He's like I think they said in the commentary at the time there, you know, this time last season he's getting whipped by Spurs and getting relegated for Hull. Now he's he's scoring skewer skewering uh, Champions League football and with a Champions League final to. To, to look forward to in a couple of weeks time like talk about an incredible incredible turnaround but you know look we made the changes we kind of sl- I think we took kind of took the foot off the gas a little control the game a bit more wasn't as much going home the runs had probably dropped a little we just kind of kept the ball and you know dominant dominant performance right around the pitch you know good performances everywhere really like Gary's did what he had to do you know both full backs were solid and lively both in defence and, and showed ample qualities going forward Lovren and Vodai controlled Anything that Brighton attacked uh, midfield, you got to be happy with 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 Genie and, and Hendel there. They did they did very well to control the game, zip the ball around, and then front three it did what the front three did. Um, add in Solanke into that as well. We're so used to calling the front three, but um, they they pretty much all all, all had a, had brilliant brilliant games, and you know uh, it, it, the most important thing is we've secured Champions League football. I don't think we can over exaggerate just the importance of that you only have to look back a couple of years at how we were struggling to to get champions league now now we've got it two years in a row it's a massive achievement and almost pipped third as well it doesn't make any difference now with the way they've changed the restructuring and um, there's no qualifier anymore so we're, we're straight through to the group phrases um really really positive signs and it's another step on this journey it's another step in this evolution of this 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 wonderful team that i think uh, jorgen is, is building here and uh I think I said at the start, touch wood, it appears no major injuries from today. Definitely didn't show any, it didn't see any there. Um, hopefully Millie's okay as well and we go as pretty much as for a first choice as we can given the, the likes of the long-term injuries with, with uh, Chan um, Chan and say Oxe. But look, we seem to be coming in with a first choice. The players now will have their parade at the at the end of the game today. They'll I'll just talk of a, of a training camp in, in Spain and get, and get ready for the mighty Real Madrid in the in the Champions League final, which we can't wait. But that's been my match reaction, folks. Um, a brilliant end to a Premier League campaign. Um, some scintillating football at time. Um, shore up the the defense as well. Another clean sheet. I don't think we can underestimate that. The te- the attack and rightly so will grab the headlines. But we've another clean sheet. You know, it's 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 matched. Uh, Rafa's record, and that was one hell of a defensive team that didn't have the attack and play that we have at the moment. So you've got everyone t- talks about Rafa, and, and rightly so, he's another great result today. But no mean achievement. Um, another shutout, and I'm, I'm I'm matching that record, and you know, really, really, really exciting times. And let's hope there's an even more exciting time coming up coming up around the corner. That's it, folks. That's been my match match reaction. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the Redmen TV. Keep an eye out. Some really, really good content coming up, uh, obviously, with, with the Marsh to Cave and, and, and all that. So loads of content to come. That's been my reaction. Going to zip it out. Up the Reds, folks.